Hello, my name is 2nd Lieutenant Chloe Smith. I'm a 2019 graduate from the United States Military Academy at West Point, and I participated in the California Cadet Corps from 2011 to 2015. While I was in the Cadet Corps, I served as the State Commander, and I attained the rank of Cadet Colonel while in the program. I actually, I joined the Cadet Corps actually as a result of my parents. So my parents were both in the California Cadet Corps and both served as brigade commanders in their respective brigades, um, both achieving the rank of Cadet Colonel. And I actually began the program just as a way to spend a summer. Um, and quickly after spending one summer at NCO Academy, I realized that spending my time learning about leadership and developing others, developing myself was a way that I actually wanted to spend my free time. And through that one experience, I became more so involved in the program after just one summer camp. So being a part of the California Cadet Corps really acted as a leadership laboratory for me. Um, it really gives you the opportunity to test out your leadership style, develop a philosophy, and test out what works best for you, what motivates people truly, um, especially in the area of peer leadership. Leading peers can be a very difficult thing, and it's practiced here in the California Cadet Corps as well as at West Point and as well as in the Operational Army. So having the opportunity to test out your leadership style and really you know, realize that what motivates people isn't necessarily yelling and screaming, but maybe you know, a more heart-to-heart, one-on-one type leadership. So um, getting the chance to practice that um, without any Know, without any consequences and just having the opportunity to fail without being you know in a real-time situation was super beneficial well when I when I started in the California Cadet Corps I started very late I started um, my high school year it was my sophomore year and when I started there weren't a lot of female role models for me in the program I didn't there weren't any female cadet commanders um, I hadn't, there hadn't been a female state commander in several years, and that was very disheartening at first, especially coming into a program with a lot of type A individuals, particularly males who have held the position in years past. Um, so really, that was something quite difficult for me to get over, and I think that eventually once I realized that I was qualified for the position despite not having experience, um, and that it was something I was interested in, I realized that maybe it could be me and maybe I could be the female that, that helps other females realize that they are qualified for these types of positions. Um, so really it just being you know, a female, being one of the first female commanders in several years to hold the position of state commander um, really gave me the courage to encourage others to pursue positions as well as to continue pursuing positions I didn't think were possible for myself. My driving force, I would say, first piece of advice is seek out mentorship. Um, none of this can be done on your own, and I would not be at West Point without the help of my mentors who encouraged me to apply, who encouraged me to attend a visit. I would not have done any of that without mentorship. I fundamentally believe that mentorship really drives really drives the army. So seek out mentors early on. Seek out people you admire to lead you through this. Um, and second of all, seek out opportunity. Um, always be focused on what you can do to better your position and keep that end goal in mind that not only are you bettering yourself, but bettering yourself means that you're better prepared to lead soldiers, lead people, lead lives of American citizens. So if you keep that in mind, then it's very easy to focus on um, improving constantly. One of my most favorite memories and challenges in the California Cadet Corps was earning the prestigious Red Beret. It is actually an award that my father received when he was in the California Cadet Corps, and um, did, I did not receive the opportunity until late in my cadet career. Um, while it was a challenging experience, I was faced to you know, survive in, in an austere condition. Um, it really taught me a lot about teamwork as you're out there with the team. You have to rely on one another to survive. Um, as well as testing your limits, doing what you think that your body can't even do, because you can go five days without food, you can live off the land, and there are techniques, um, but the important part about that is understanding that you are capable and understanding that you need your teammates to complete missions. 
My name is 2nd Lieutenant Chloe Smith. I am a 2019 graduate of the United States Military Academy at West Point, and I also served as a cadet colonel in the California Cadet Corps.